Hello again. Are you looking for a simple drill to improve the quality of your release? If you are, you're in the right place. Come back in a moment and I'll show you a great one. Hello again. I think all of us are struggling to actually improve the release in our golf swing. And when I'm talking about the release, I'm talking about, in this case, when and how the wrists release the last kind of angle in the golf club. Getting this to happen as close as possible to the golf ball is a great part of actually getting as much speed and control on the club head as possible. What's actually happening is that you're generating arm and hand speed as you swing the club down and then by releasing this angle in the wrists you're actually creating a multiplicator. The lever which the golf club builds is actually increasing up to a six-fold the hand speed that you're getting in the downswing. The trick is getting this to happen at the right time and I think the majority of people are tending to do this a little bit too early consciously or unconsciously because they're either hitting at the golf ball or haven't really understood how to do it correctly. And getting a feeling for it is vital. This is a drill that I like to do with all of my students and it's a drill that you can do away from the golf course. You can do it in your back garden if you've got a stick in your hands anywhere really that's uh, possible. And obviously like all drills, the more often you do it, the quicker it gets into flesh and blood and the simpler it is and the less you have to think about it. But basically we're talking about this kind of last step as the body turns and the hands release. What I like to do is instead of holding the golf club as we normally would, is to get the hands apart. So the right hand is actually almost in the middle of the shaft here. And then I'll make a back swing as normal. So the feeling of getting the left shoulder down and the arm up, the left arm up under my chin. I'll then move the hip back and let the arm come down more or less to where it was before. So I'm picking it up and pulling it back down to its original position. It's quite okay and in fact in, it's a help for the left hip to get the feeling of kind of starting this but you want to have the feeling of the left shoulder staying forward. You don't want to be opening up to the target at this point. Just get the arms back down where they were before to the deepest point in the swing. The, the trick here then is to then open the body and release the angle in the right arm. So you're moving in actually the right arm out so that it straightens just outside the left thigh. And you can see you've got the club almost in a vertical position there. It's going up, coming down, going through. Up, down, through. Up, down, through. Up, down, through. Once my body is able to do that quite freely, I'll then put the hands together. Up, down, through. Up, down, through. Up, down, through. As that becomes a little bit more fluid, you want to release and relax the wrist and you'll find that they will keep the wrist angle until they get to outside of the right thigh and release quite naturally. You don't want the feeling of holding on. Once you've actually got that feeling, then you want to be going all the way through. Up, down, through, and to the finish. Up, down, through, and to the finish. And then make it fluid. If you are doing this on a driving range, then make a number of these exercises until your body gets the feeling. When it's got the feeling, step up to a golf ball and hit the golf ball. Then move away and do another couple of drills. And once you've got the feeling again, the next golf ball. Going from the drill to the ball, from the drill to the ball, helps your unconscious to associate the movements with one another. And in no time at all, you'll see a golf ball. And that's exactly what your body will want to do. As ever, if this has helped you, this video, please hit the like button. That helps the channel. 
If you haven't subscribed already, then please do subscribe. Hit the little bell at the side and that will give you notifications the next time that I drop a video online. And as ever, I'll leave my philosophy up here. I'll be going to the Ryder Cup this week, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to send to you. Obviously, I won't be able to do any filming or reporting on the Ryder Cup, but I thought I might try and just give you kind of my take on the Ryder Cup and the event and the fun that it really is to be there live. Um, I'll see you very shortly. Until then, ciao. <laughs>